Hello YouTube, it is Damien here, and it's a video we haven't done in a long old while. A golf vlog! We've only done two of them. It's a day off here, it's an audio, it's a very wintry day off, not gonna lie. But uh, we're putting some work in on the game, and today we are gonna go play around. And I'm doing this more to keep myself honest, to make sure that I, A, think about my golf and try and play my best, and B, there's a couple of things I want to work on whilst playing around at West Beach, where we generally go and play. Um, in terms of my golf, uh, I've been hitting consistently okay, like going to the driving range when I can. Um, I've, I've said to myself that I do want to get a lot better at the sport. I do want to buy like a new set. I want to, you know, invest a bit of time into not playing golf at like a super high level, but I want to invest time to get good enough that if I do sign up to a club that I was able to play like C grade, B grade, something like that. Or, you know, in terms of handicap, you know, get down to a 10 handicap, something like that. Um, at the moment though, the game's very hit and miss. I have days where I shoot unbelievably well. Um, shout out to my mate Lewis. We went a couple of weeks ago, maybe a few weeks ago now, um, and I needed to go three bogeys in a par to break 60 for the first time in my life. Uh, pesky hold number 13, I made a seven. So that, that shot, that dream in the end. And I think I finished with 61 even after that. So yeah, um, and then I went with Paul, who obviously everybody knows Paul. We haven't checked out his channel. Unbelievable content with the YouTube at the minute. You know, his Celta Bruce is kicking off. 100% you go watch that. But uh, I went with Paul on the weekend, and I had arguably my one of my worst rounds that I felt I've played in terms of hitting. So back when we started playing golf, we used to go to the golf course, and, you know, we used to be happy with 75 or under, you know, 78 used to be okay, et cetera, et cetera. But instead... I have gone and, you know, got my game into a spot where, you know, if I'm hitting anywhere between 60 and 70, I'm pretty upset with the score. Um, and then I'm having I'm having a lot of consistent, like, 61, 62, 63, 64 scores. Uh, and I hit a 71 with Paul. Now, with Paul, we had probably the worst round we've had off the tee. I, I compounded a lot of mistakes. Uh, haven't played in a couple of weeks, and I went out there and I hit without warming up or anything and, you know, mishit everything and... You know, I think on the whole uh, whole one, they actually moved a tee into a spot, or the tee box into a spot, which well, I kind of liked, and thin one, and the next minute I free putted, and I, you know, my putting's probably been my biggest improvement, and then it went away on the weekend, just gone, and I, it's been eating at me all week that I, I played so well. I hit a 71, and the fact that I was eight over after two holes, because I made a mistake on two, I got angry, I don't hit my three wood particularly well, my three wood flexes a lot, which opens up the face and it slices everywhere, something to do with my swing too, but um, it's kind of from what I've been watching a heap of Rick Shields and why, you know, better clubs are more important to keep weight at the back, to keep your head let straight and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's why I want to A, buy a better set of clubs. I don't have to be superb clubs. You know, entry-level clubs are fine. Um, I just have to bite the bullet and do it. There's a couple sets I like. But, um, you know, I made a mistake. I, I duffed my free wood and then got frustrated and hit a four-iron just down there. And then I hit a really good chip, but it hit the went at the pin where I really should have said, you know what, let's get on the green. It's fine. Two part to walk over bogey. And in my head, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to put this within 10 foot of the hole and have a par part. And he had a very good chip, but I hit it into the sand, two shots out of the sand. And from that moment on, I was A, thinking about it too much, B, didn't swing. And one of the things I want to work on today is that we were talking to this old fellow that was behind us, a bit of a bottleneck. And he, you know, and I just said, you know what, Paul, my round's done. I'm not going to break even 70 today. So, you know, I'm probably going to break 80. So I'm just going to swing and see what happens, you know. And just went into this cool, controlled swing. And next minute, um, and I went par, 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 whatever. And the fact that I made 71 with that sort of, score and hitting that bad was you know incredible but at the same stage uh you know once i got the score back to respectable you know i think i parred for the next five holes and then next minute you know uh at 10 i free putt for five and uh you know 11 i kind of was like you know i think i parred but i hit a bad tee shot and then the back four holes wasn't great either at the moment that the score became realistic again, that I could actually maybe even see average 70, 69, something like that, the, the, the game went away. So today, what I'm working on, and it's been a bit of a longer intro, but I feel like just to give these guys, because it's so long between golf vlogs, how the game's been going, um, just the couple of things to work on. Firstly, what I want to work on is making sure the swing is consistent. You know, sometimes I try and hit certain clubs a little bit too hard, like free irons and that. I feel like when I have a smooth, controlled swing, um, you know, don't even three quarter swing and just getting good weight transferring onto the onto my front foot. You know, getting forward through the strike. Uh, I feel like I hit the ball a lot better. Um, yeah, occasionally slices, and that's because of my grip. But that's something I can work on. 
Um, but secondly, uh, more importantly, I don't want to become too disheartened and you know mentally go. I feel like having this video will help. Um, as I speak with this, the rain just started coming down. It's been pretty clear this morning. It is meant to rain. Um, I'm still going to go down there, and if it rains, we'll be end done with this. But uh, yeah, have a look at this. It started the rain, boys. That's not what we want. Um, but hopefully, we'll be okay, and we will go play a very good round. Um, I want to just keep myself in check and i'm hoping the youtube video does that last thing we'll say is damien's done something that he forgot to do i have forgot my um, portable charger and i am going to hopefully get through this round quick enough without too much going on but look um feel like we're just going to make sure that we make good decisions don't get too angry and keep a good swing and if we do all that i think in today's conditions the rain now coming down which makes no sense it's sunny and the rain's coming down that's not good hopefully it passes over um you know, I would love to say, hey, let's go break 60. You know, we had a putt, I think, last time on YouTube at break 60. Uh, I don't think it's happening today. If I get a 65, 66 after having a 71, but a good 65, 66 where I've hit the ball well and maybe it's my putting or my chipping that's let me down, great. If I have a 66 and it's just because I've been saving everything with putts and my, my hitting off the deck or, you know, my iron game isn't good, I'll be a bit frustrated. Anyway, that's enough. That's way too long of an intro. I'll see you guys at the golf course. Um, you may see me hit some putts and maybe hit 25 balls. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we do play very well and solid. And we will have a good round. And hopefully, maybe with a little bit of luck, we can break 60 in these conditions with the greens a little slower. Who knows? Maybe we'll just hold a few more putts. <laughs>
Um, I'm going to walk over to a shed and hopefully wait for my round. So what I did is I putted and then I went to the driving range. And when I went to the driving range, I was like, oh, it's sunny. My radar says there's not much around. I'll pay for my round and off we go. So if it got heavy, I was like, I'll just hit my balls at my range and be done with it. Um, we are going to try and play around because now I've paid for it. But uh, weather's rolled in and it looks like it's just like settled in as well. If you can't tell. Don't know if you're going to be able to see if it's raining or not. Might be able to hear that it's raining. Yeah, it's definitely raining. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully it passes. Uh, I've never played in like super wet conditions either, so I don't know what we're going to expect in school. But um, if we reverse the camera, if I can't, I can't. I remember I couldn't do that. One second, guys. There's people out on hole seven, like with their umbrellas. So yeah, we'll just we'll wait for this to pass. On the radar, I didn't say there was much around, so hints why I came and started filming i'm gonna try and get my round in today but we'll wait and we'll see all right guys first tee 120 odd meters away we're right at the back of the tee box which i don't mind um i was hitting my nine iron very well just practicing with the nine sometimes got eight iron here um not much wind around it looks like that the weather's stopped so we're gonna hopefully get a good round in but yeah we're gonna use a nine iron um my last couple rounds here this is usually one of my best holes in the course i've not hit them well so that I hit my nine iron pretty well there on the driving range. Hopefully a nice solid stroke and away we go. That's probably the worst nine home I've hit all day. Absolutely thinned it. Caught it right at the bottom of the club. Um, and she has ran in these skidding conditions all the way back through the pin. Um, and saying that, I nearly hit the flag, which would have been a stroke of luck, but she's gone over the back a lot better than where I was this time last time at pool, which was somewhere out there and then sputs it at all. But look, hopefully it hasn't rolled too far back. Decent little bump and run will be okay. Here we are guys, second ball, as you can see, came all the way over the bat, ran straight through the green into a little bit of the spinach. Um, two mines here, I don't think I can putt out of this surface, so I feel like I could bump and run with a nine. I'm actually going to use my sandwich and just try and get it just to kiss the green and check up a little. See how we go. Just hit it a touch hard. Um, shoot out a quick, caught it really well. Um, just needed to switch just a touch left on that. Got hit the exact right shot and the right line that I wanted. Um, but yeah, just to hit it a bit quick. Look, if I can two putt from here, make four. It's not the worst score in the world here. Um, can't make five from there, but we'll be all right. Now I'm right on an embankment here, so you're not going to actually hear me see me hit the ball, but um, you definitely see it roll. If I do this well enough. Um, Cut here. I normally cut with a glove off, but it's so cold, I'm going to leave it on. I'm just going to look the two putt, boys. Um, the poor tee shot puts you in the position, but two good putts in a decent chip. Wouldn't be to say it's the best chip. On to number two, par four. Let's see how we go. Gonna pull three iron for the first time here today. All right, three iron. Gonna look for the left hand side of the fairway. Pay for a little bit of a fade. Right. 
All right, hit them well on the hit them well on the driving range. You come here. We've had two suspect holes. That one has gone. Hit it okay, but she has gone very far. Right about where that tree line is. A bit over. Here we are, second shot. Free one went massively, massively long, which is good. Just sliced it too much. Got a good lie here, and we are right next to the tee box of 14, one of the 15 hole course here at West Beach. You can see the flag is just in here. Um, there's a bunker protecting it. I'm actually going to aim over this tree here because it missed the bunker, and even if we go short, it'll be all right. I think I'm still recording. Yep. All right, good. I nearly turned it off. Then. Safe shot. I think we're just short of the green, but we're not in the bunker. Here I am, exactly where I wanted it, just over those trees, just short of the green. Here's my pin. Just gonna do that. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting out of that, but with the green being so close, I think a putt eliminates probably a six here, which is good. I feel like if I chip and miss hit the chip, when she runs over the back, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm just gonna leave it sort of like that, so you can see, because I can't obviously put it down there. Um, see how the camera looks, but yeah, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna putt. Post editing demo here. I do not know what's happened uh, there. Um, in when we put the camera where I wanted to to watch the putt on too, it's for whatever reason turned off. It's maybe because I had my tee so close. Um, I'm a bit annoyed. We free putt for five there. My first putt wasn't bad. Just left it about 10, 12 foot short. It, you know, I, as I said, I wasn't a fan of putting in that spinach. And it kind of held the ball up, especially with the wet conditions. I probably should have hit that putt a lot harder, get it up to the hole. Um, and then I hit an absolutely amazing putt, I thought, uh, which I really wanted to watch. Um, and it actually finishes within like an inch or two from the cup. Uh, you know, one of those ones on a different day, she tickles in and she doesn't. Um, uh, the thing is, I remember picking the camera up and going, look how close this is, and then tapping it in. So... I must have turned it off and then realised I didn't turn it off when I put it into its thing. It's not the first time that happens. Um, there is a couple incidents coming up actually where the group in front of me let me through and I decide to not film because they're going to let me through. I don't want to turn the camera on, you know, get everything set up and then they're going, well, we're letting this guy through. What's he doing? But um, yeah, that's really annoying. Um, so that's a five there. So we're going bogey, bogey, two over just to let everybody know. But uh, yeah, I don't know why that has not filmed. I'm a little bit... Uh, annoyed because it was a really good putt and I wanted to watch that putt back because I thought that would have been very good viewing and very good learning for me because if I can hit most putts how I hit this second putt on that green I'll be pretty happy. Hole three about 140. Um, I had some trouble in this hole sometimes. Um, I'm gonna pull seven iron just hit a nice bruisey seven if I can see it. There. Um, you know, two bogeys not a bad way to start. Same slightly left with the hole that fade in hopefully but I'm um, waiting for Fell massively short, thought I hit it well. Might have picked up a big gust of wind just as we hit it. Yeah, she's miles short. Good shot, mate. Good shot. Oh, these guys have dirty pots on the next. As you can see, landed well short with the seven iron, which is not what we want. Um, guy over there missed his par part, missed his birdie part, and has a bit of a kick part. Well, they made, made birdie. Um, I'm gonna go sandwich and just leave one there. Hopefully get there. Yeah.
don't know what's going on. No roll with the seven iron off the fairway and then that has absolutely come out so hot and has gone right to the back edge of the green. Right, par par, long way away though. Not from that tee shot, when it was when we hit it I thought, oh yeah we're on. Instead here we are. So just get this close, make another bogey, and we'll be okay. I feel like it's pretty straight. with that roll she is gone and then moved on me with the mud fuck me it's not good at all boys um i'm gonna go seven iron again here on hole four 120 odd away i've gone with a slightly higher tee um i've been trying at the low tee i didn't mind it um the driving iron or the iron tee but i just want to go with a high tee here a nice seven Try not to be long. Should be able to attack this. On the green but a bit far right as you can see a long way away ball was right where the glider stroke passed see what we can do we will be okay um would love to get down into two, two part would be nice but we'll see i think it goes slightly down here Lipped out again. Hit it. The second one to break slightly that way, and she stayed pretty straight on me. Hit it exactly where I wanted to. Just another free putt, man. Like if I might have had a good putting day, we really could be on for 60 on. As in, for, sorry, breaking 60. Instead, I need to find a birdie somewhere and a few pars to get back on track here. I'm gonna hit five iron and hold five. And really go after this one. Right, time to hit a five iron. Hopefully, be okay. We need to find. I need to find a par somewhere. If I can get to find a par and be nine over from nine, it leaves me a chance to make an assault with the final five holes. Um, I'm gonna go with it. If I go with the back of my bolt, we're gonna get too well, but slightly into the wind. Wanna take a good swing. Don't wanna hit the ground, keep it at the economy too.
it didn't have a good swing. I set up to that ball and I felt awkward, felt too close to the ball, should have pulled out. Try to recorrect myself, and in the end, I have a very, very, very tough chip. Uh, the spinach, I'm about whole high, so it proves that it was a decent club into the wind. Just didn't hit it well. It's not the round we're hoping for, boys. It's, uh, it's truly, 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 truly being one of those frustrating rounds where it feels like you're playing well, but I've had no luck, I haven't had a putt really drop, and then, well, now I made a decision to go for it. I don't think that's out of anger, that was more out of the fact that into the wind, let's hit five iron. And now we're in a bit of strife. Because from this sort of lie, I can already tell from back here, it's going to be pretty hard to get this one close with the sand wedge, I feel. Balls in this sort of like set up, but look how much mud's on it. I'm not allowed to clean it once in play. I might change balls in a second. Um, I'm just going to hit a sand wedge, hope to hit it into that bank. It just pops up and trickles downhill because it does run back downhill. It's going to be a fucking very difficult shot, this. Um, this could be five, six. Could be a four, I'd take four right now, run away. It's not the worst shot result here. Put this back down here. Put that. Put a little bit more, but yeah. Put it in the back of my science. Try and pitch it into this. Let it run down. That's not a bad result in the end. Um, hopefully it stays there. And if it does, we're gonna have at least a par pot. Just had to hit it a touch more, found it hard to get it. It's right on this wrench. But yeah, not a bad shot from that shit. Here we are, up here. But was gonna go that way, back towards the tee box. It's downhill, but not too downhill until basically where it gets to the hole, it starts to go massively downhill. I don't like this pin placement at all. We can turn the club just a little bit that way, that would be alright too. But yeah, we're in a not bad spot. Um, hopefully she goes. Disappointing. It's a really good pass that haven't dropped. Hopefully they're not dropping soon. Uh, that's another bogey. Just a oh, it's a good part. Decent chip. I'm kind of right. Just need it to get a little better. Alright, hole six, one of my favourites. Can put three iron. Um this a little bit more that way. As long as I don't slice this one well right, I might actually play a little bit more. It's pretty hard on this little T box. Um so if you don't go right into this tree line, you're right. Tree line, just in a bit on the right. I think it's right on the left. Yeah. It's a good tee shot to get the bird in the face. Don't Best tee shot we've hit all day, boys. That is the best tee shot we've hit all day. Said slightly left, she's gonna slide to basically just inside the tree, bait where my finger is, which is perfect. And they leave ourselves a nice little pitching wedge. I hope so. So we try and make a birdie here on six and get our rounds. Not back under control because it's still been pretty good, but around that's you know, it's not bad, gives us a chance to break maybe 60 if we hit, string a few of these together. That's a good shot though. Happy with that one, you can tell, you can see my face. Pretty good position, pretty happy where I am. And hopefully, we can go do a job here. I'm gonna put a pitching wedge. You see the nice cruise you want about 100, about 80 meters in the hole, so it shouldn't fit any of these lines. It should be all right on the pitch line. Let's go.
Just a bit long, hit that so well. Hit exactly where I wanted it to. Just a bit long, that. But we'll be okay there. All right, the two lads in front of me have been really nice and let me through. So I went to go after hitting my approach in the six. Um, just there waiting on the tee going, oh, you can come through when you're ready. And I felt really bad. Uh, rushed it, doffed my sandwich. Um, was a bit off the back. Ended up making five, two putts on the fringe. And yeah, and then I've hit, without filming, a third iron into primo location. As you can see, puckers here, trees there. Um, I've absolutely crunched it down the left hand side. Um, loving how I'm hitting my free iron at the minute off the tee. Um, hopefully, it continues on to 10. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, with the change of balls, it's done well. As you can see, my orange one is still here. Um, I do like using the orange one, it's just in this, it's getting so muddy and it is what it is. But, um, yeah, pretty good spot. Let's not overcook one of these wedges. We just overcooked one. Uh, we're in a very, very good spot here. And hopefully, we have a good little pitching wedge. We can be on for our first birdie. Just, it's been the approach game that has let me down so far today. Let's hope it doesn't right now. Pitching wedge at the hole. Open three up. Right. Fuck me. She's gone right. Don't know about distance, but she's gone right. Kind of turned away in frustration. Kind of sliced it, man. I can't approach today. Usually not the worst part of my game as well. As you can see, here we are. It's whole high, just right off the club. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go here. Um, one of the, obviously, on the putting service, going to try and putt this from... Fairway back, get it close, and then putt again. Hopefully, it's a part. I need to make a part here. A little bit left hand side. Let's get it up there. Not the worst, let's get it. I don't know what I have to do to buy a bit of pop up. Uh, hole, hole eight. A couple of mines what to hit. With the wind seven. I'm gonna go six and just really kind of just try and get it there. We need to make a birdie or a par really bad in the next couple of holes. So. I absolutely shanked that. Caught it like off the hill or something, I don't know, but yeah, we've not hit that one well. The round's falling apart a little. Um, I've been hitting, this is, this is a frustrating thing, I've hit well and on a different day, if you know, the par part there sinks, um, the par part on two sinks, and I'm like six, six over, three eight, or three seven playing eight, and that's a good spot to be in. That means you're on for 64 plus any birdies or whatever, but yeah, we're a little bit of strike here. I mean, the way I've been chipping for the green, I would imagine this one's going to go long every time. Just don't, I don't want to like take a bit off the approach and then risk duffing it, especially here into the sand. It just, yeah, we're just, it's not, it's not going to happen. We're not good enough to do it. Yeah, not the spot we envisioned. What was it? Um, going to bend the pitching wedge here. Imagine going to go to sand wedge a bit more loft and hopefully she stops. But uh, this is not a shot I'm comfortable with at the minute, considering how I've hit him all day. Good right, good long. Just hopefully for a good one. We'll take that, that's not bad. I actually had a ball land next to me here. Just there. But yeah. Should be okay. A little bit downhill. Back, the, back it up just along the bag. It's gonna 
Just can't see the ball there. The ball's basically here. I'm actually glad I made the second one up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really fucking annoying. So plus nine, playing the ninth, is a spot that I would normally take, usually would take on most rounds. Today, however, I'm not particularly happy. I've hit some really good shots, and I've hit some really horrible approach shots, and I've hit some really good putts, and none of them are fallen, so... Yeah, that, that was the worst part we just hit then, I reckon, was on the 8th. And then the putt back to make 4 was incredibly difficult and I didn't even line up and said, oh yeah, it's going in there. Might need to do that a bit more, just not overthink the putt and just hit the putt. I don't know. Comment below what you think's been the best shot for front 9 so far. And hopefully we can put a free iron close here. Try and make birdie. I've never birdied this one. Made a couple pars here, but yeah, I think we're in trouble. In terms of trying to break 60, I think that's gone out the window. Right. Hole three, hole three, hole nine, three iron. Shot of the round, boys. Shot of the round. We're gonna walk all the way up because that is a crunch free iron. I have some good memories here of hitting good free irons. That was one of the better ones. I've been in a very similar spot. I actually ended up, I think, free putting for four. For four. I reckon we're in a very similar spot. Um, and yeah, um, I think I've made part from here too. So. And it's a great free iron all the way down. Um, looks like it's whole high here, but that is unreal. Um, look for a second, it was going to actually fall. And the, the right hand slope back down the fringe. Ended up holding. I think the wind is blowing. If I, if I do this, the wind is blowing that direction, if you see my shadow. Um, and that's kind of held it. Got a good bounce too. The amount of times I've hit it into this dead mound which I'll show you in a second and it's just like stopped dead there was once we pulled up absolutely level one hit the top of that mound and it rolled back down it was that just mud and dead mercifully just carried that I think the wind sent me carry that and she's rolled all the way up as you can see you can probably still to see it but yeah talking about like so there's the first of the dead mounds but the second dead mound I've hit that a couple of times on my free iron and it's gone but that is a sputzed free iron we have a birdie part on nine and a birdie here would be huge if we make it I've said I've hit some good shots, I've hit some good parts. Nothing's fallen. There's ever a time let's do it, but yeah, she she's pitched just past here. And as you can see it slopes down. Sloping down it would have been right. That is one of my better shots today. That is you know what shot with the front nine is? That one there. And if you're still watching, I come on. This is brilliant stuff. And hopefully we can give ourselves a bit of a chance here at Birdie. Alright, here we go. Put you on the other side because it slopes down, like I said. There, very happy with that. Par would be good here. 30 because I'm taking the glove off. Um,
It's too little break. Should have read it for more break. In the end, though, left myself the right part. I don't know how far you can see that. I'm hoping it was in the camera shot, but uh, yeah, just straight up up the hill, just hit it hard enough to go in. Sort of pop. So free to end the par finally. But yeah, let's continue that form going into ten. Got hole ten, one of the hardest holes on the course statistically. But a hole that if we hit a good tee shot, let's open up enough to make some pars here. We can walk away with par here, that would be huge for the round. We're gonna pull three iron yet again. And we're just gonna go and hit another hopefully wallop on the shot. Exactly the same as what we just hit. So that goes in a good position. Hopefully. Get the depth on Left hand side is right but we're okay we're in play um maybe blocked out by these trees though so we'll go have a look but it's on that line um not as clean as i would have liked kind of, my hands kind of came across the ball i felt it and i hit it i was like Ugh. but um not a bad spot as long as we have a play we can chip pretty close from there so yeah hopefully we'll be in a not bad spot don't be blocked out by these trees or else we're gonna do something magical Alright boys, here we are. Not blocked out by the tree. Didn't pitching edge really well, so we're gonna go pitching. If we can hit a good shot here, we may be okay. Hopefully we will hit a good one. It's a bit down, so I might put a bit back in the stand. It's fun just hopefully. Found it hard to get that out of there. Okay, line spot, but um, would have rather have been in a putting position for the third. There's no real big danger here, though. Um, I could putt, but I feel like we have a long way to putt. And a good sandwich, we've hit a few good sandwiches, but I've gone a bit long. I'm actually going to pull nine iron. I'm going to bump and run. Um, it goes uphill slightly, then it goes back downhill. So if we can get it past the uphill stuff, and it should go downhill, it'll be alright. Well, let it kiss, slow, check. Should be okay. I haven't had a bumper run in a while. I'm trying to put it to bed, my bumper run. I feel like I hit them always a bit hard, but I think this is the spot to do it in. Wish me luck. Yard. Sputted it. Sputted it, sputted it, sputted it. Can't bump and run here. Fucking hell, should have just hit a sandwich. Like, what should we do with a pitching wedge now? That has really annoyed me. That can kill my round. Bad choice. Let's do it again. That's all I needed was that. Note to self. Note to self. Don't bump and run. Just use a pitching wedge or a sandwich. Obviously, I get worried when you do that because it digs into the ground and you fuck and fuck and it goes not even two foot. But you now I've bladed one all the way down the other side of the green. And, you know, that's the ball, and this could be a round killer. So, all the way down the end, fucking two part for five, great. It's not the round over. Any hope of trying to get like a low 60, 61, 62, 63, even the 60s just gone. Um, just yeah, everything but the tee shot was horrible on that hole. Sometimes 10 does that to you and it ruins your scorecard. And well, there you are. When you make two double bogeys, you're not really good enough to get make break 60. So yeah, that is ridiculous for me. It's shit golf. And hopefully, I kind of need to go birdie birdie right now. So, every time I do it, hole 11, one of my faves. 
Right, hole 11. It's up the 200 meter, pretty straight part for the thing that's sitting there. Thank you. If we can hit one pretty straight and can leave ourselves a nice little shit and run and pitching wedge, sand wedge, green, and hopefully make birdie. And it looks like we did go up there. That's the worst three iron for shooting today. I've absolutely towed it. Firstly, for me, I didn't catch all of it because it went right as well. Over there, just off the fairway, a little bit of spinach, I think. Hopefully, get a decent lie, hit a good pitching match in. You never know. Alright, feeking sandwich, boys. Going to hit sandwich, hopefully, be okay. Uh, pop it in the air, hopefully, it doesn't roll too much. We need to get close. You can see here we are, that's where the fairway would have been. And, you know, it would have probably bounced about where the camera is now, like right in through here. She would have rolled pretty close to the green like up there somewhere. Instead, here we are. We'll miss hit one. Hopefully, we'll be okay. And uh, we'll wait and see how we go here. Just going to try and put this one in the air and put it close. Oh, my. It's on the left there. I can't hit an approach shot today. Fuck my game. Shit. Round over. I'm done. You need to. Whatever I'm trying is not working. That one went well left. Can't hit a good shot. I'm just like, I'm leaving so many strokes out here, man. I'm gonna finish with like 66 or something like that. And really on a different day, if I made all my fucking putts and all my fucking approach shots were as good as they could be. If I could have made like 55 today. Wow. Very, very long birdie part. Not what we wanted here at all. We need to make sure we at least two putts a par. Give myself a chance to make a few parts in a row here. I'm just gonna look for the place. Over. Made five on the easiest hole of the course, great. Try not to get mad, but how do you not get mad when everything is going against you, man? Like, fuck me. So shit at this sport. So hole fucking, what, 12? Yeah, gonna use 9 iron, but off the deck, no tee. That's gonna try to get a good shot. Like, my round's over and done. I don't know, a couple of birdies, it's really fucking shit, so yeah. Whatever happens, happens here. That is the definition of a very, very good tee shot. I don't know if you can tell from here, but we're pretty close. We're just up there on the little fringe part. And that'll be okay. Right. As you can see, I don't know what happened with the last part of filming. It somehow cut out while I was talking. I was trying to say it was up on this fringe part here. Um, as you can see, she's probably pitched just here. I'm going to fix that up in a sec. So you can have a little bit of stop out. I'll just you do that. And then she's kind of just like dug in and held. Thankfully, about here, she would have rolled all the way down. Um, she stayed up. So you got this part for birdie. Need one badly after that. Imagine if I went birdie, birdie, like fire out, rounds back on. Look, who knows? Birdie this, part this, go into my worst hole on the course. And the next one, who knows, pull something on my ass. Last two holes, see what we can post, but look, I have to put you all the way back here because it slopes so much. And hopefully we hit a very good part here. Hopefully we sink one up. It'd be nice. Hopefully we can sink one. Third. 
Bora. Um. Um. Let's go. Come on. It's a fantastic fucking part. That's our first birdie of the day. Is there something we can salvage from this round? Who knows, but what a putt that was. After that birdie, plus 11 through 11. Uh, sorry, plus 12 through 12. Um, the cover really could be a like plus 8, plus 9, something like that. Really could be. Really looking at breaking 60s. It's another one of those frustrating rounds. Look, that gives me some life, some belief. Now, if we can hit a good tee shot here, get walk away with a par. Um, what do we got? We got 13, 14, 15. If I can go two pars and a bogey, I'll be happy with that today. Uh, I think these last three holes are going to shape up how I feel about this round. So, aspects I'm really happy with. There's been like, some good shots off the ground. There's been some good tee shots. There's been some really good approaches. There's been some good putts um, that have lipped out. But yet, yeah, the same stage, the same time, they've all lipped out. They've all missed uh, most of them, apart from that one there in terms of parts. And I've kept my head fairly well for most of it, but at the same stage, I lost my head a little bit there on 11. Hopefully, we'll be okay. And look, take out the two double bogeys, we really could be in a really good spot. All right, all right, we're at the front tee box here. 13, hole that I averaged the worst here. I have many a time scuffed at left, scuffed at right, and many a time scuffed at short. Usually the tee box is back there. We are up late today, which is good. I'm gonna put this back in here, and there's ever a time to hit a very good tee shot, it is right now. 13, 14, 15 has sometimes been my crux. Sometimes not bad. Just here. Which way is that wind going? Back into me. <laughs> Smart, Damien. I'm gonna pull, what is it? 130 odd here for 10 yards up. I'm gonna pull six five. With the wind picking up here. There's a nice cruisy six iron down there. That's the shot of the day. The wind held that one up perfectly and moved the ball back in. That is fucking shot of the day. We're staying wide with this, boys. Shot of the, the fucking day. Wowzers. I do not just... It, it probably looks closer from back in than what it is, but she is fucking close. Come on, boys. I've never birdied this hole too. This could be huge. I just, I just crunched the six iron nicely. And she moved with the wind, you know. I said the wind was coming into us and a little bit across to the right that helped her fade. Started a bit more left. She faded in nicely. Just needed to be a touch more. That was the best shot we've hit all day. That felt so good with the six iron. Fucking come on, boys. Let's go. That is massive. Let's see, huh? Let's see. People in 15. Come on, boys. What a shot. What a shot. This could be huge. Have you seen it yet? Oh, you gotta stay live and stuff like this. This is fucking brilliant. Could you imagine we make this part? We make this part. This part is so massive. This part is so massive. Make this part we're on. Here we are. Look at that. Pin high. Perfect. There's the pitch mark. Just pitched here and basically stopped dead into the wind. <laughs> that is pure, boys. Let me set up the camera. We have this for birdie. Back to back birdies, and you never know. Alright, this is the biggest shot we have. I have to go from back here, only because there's no way we're going to put on my foot. It's such a big part. Huge part. It's going to bring my round straight back.
these fucking birdies. Unreal. Right, hole 14. Big hole here. Either I'm going left into there, I'm going straight down the guts. I pulled six on again after a good six here. Have that to contend with, which is annoying. Touch short, touch left. We can do something out of there. All right, here we are, as you can see, just here, sloping down. Uh, good shot, just um, with the wind coming. We're looking at like this from the tee box going that way. And my natural shape starts left and then fades the other way. It kind of stays straight. So let's hope and pray on putting. I feel like we have to go for it, considering the fact that if I birdie this, I just need to par the last to make 59. If I par this, I can give myself a birdie chance. Or 15 to make 51. Come on, let's get me. Let's get this one close. Keep down, man. Keep going, boy. to the last 10 over knowing that 9 over will give us a shot will give us 59 9 over gives us 59 but we have a shot 59 that's incredible like that. We've got two double bogeys amazing what two birdies in a park can do right, here we are boys hole 15 lucky last bit down if anything though the breeze is coming in and left so we can aim for the the hole and know that's probably going to get there but normally I hit 9 iron here last time with Paul she went long. I'm gonna hit pitching wedge. The reason why it goes over the back and definitely makes bogey more than likely. It goes short and makes up a chip which doesn't go over the hill. It's just good for a pup. I feel like if I pitch and wedge it gets in the spin, gets caught in the wind, it might go a bit as well. I feel like I hit a nine iron well in the wind and carry over the green. Anything we didn't need it to go down that quick, it kind of just held up a touch right at the end. But we have got one. Can I zoom in on this? Just there, front edge of the green. That is a putt, boys, for 59. All right, this putt for 59. Oh, we don't want to be that zoomed in. Come on, come on, bro. There we are. This putt for 59. Huh? This is huge. Um, as you can see, look at the book pitched pitched literally on the downside because it's wet it didn't kick on she came here she went all the way back there imagine if she kicks on here she kicks on goes a little bit down the slope and probably where the flag high oh gee well you're all right let's replace this first placing divots with damien some people use a t i like using my thumb all right i feel like this one's gonna come up here obviously it's a bit soft and then she's gonna go downhill all the way down and I feel like she goes two weights so far like, she comes. Yeah, this is a bit weird um, I feel like this original part you yeah, can definitely feel that I'm reading this part to go straight, but not conventionally straight. Maybe, maybe I'm over reading it. Hopefully the, this will stay up just here. I do not believe 
hit that pitch mark and came down. So that will stay. My phone's a tiny little bit on a slant, but that's fine. I've read it in this first part to go that way, and then once it passes probably that mound there, I've read it to come back the other way. I'm gonna hang it just through here, just on the right hand side of the cup, watch it bend and then come back down, back the other way. This is 59, boys. So well, had it read out perfectly. Oh, I just had to hit it, Damien. Just had to hit it. Just had to hit it. Not like that, obviously. That was out of frustration. Oh, shoot 60. Oh, so close. We had no right to shoot 60 today, to be fair. We had two double bogeys. That is my best round I reckon I've ever played here. Hit it. It's pretty pure in the final. Well, four holes. Uh, not even. Holes 12, 13, 14, 15. Hit that pretty well. It's pretty annoying. And that's why you always line up your putts on it because I just hit that one out of frustration with a bit more pace and you can see it went well wide. So, yeah, uh, it's so annoying. 60 it is, boys. 60 it is. Well, YouTube, it is the end of another golf vlog. I do enjoy them, um, obviously, really good. Uh, it is my best ever score at West Beach and it's also our best ever score on YouTube. So, it's nice to go hand in hand. A um, few 61s, um, I don't think I've hit a 60 before, I believe with Lewis I had obviously a shot, but I uh, didn't do it. As you can see there, 60% of fairways, using my um, golf shot up, putted okay. Um, I didn't feel like we putted at a 2.2, I feel like it was a few more free putts. Um, as you can see here on the front, uh, 9 of a 15 hole course. Um, as you can see the double bogey on 3, um, that's just from a poor chip, that flew out and then the putt down was not great. Nipped out though for the bogey putt. Um, and then, what was another putt that we had that lipped out? Which one? Well, obviously on six, you didn't get to see it, but I duffed the sandwich. It's so annoying. I hate when people watch you. That's what makes my shot at seven, the tee shot at seven, one of my favourite shots of the day. Both boys watch, and I absolutely crunch one exactly where I wanted to, and I just turned around, and I'm like, yeah. That, that's a good feeling, but knowing when people are watching you from the other tee box, going to let you through. You kind of had that added pressure that, well, I've got to play a good shot here. I was really surprised also on six that you saw my, um, my pitching wedge. That club runs a lot more than it should. Um, I pitched it, and some of the greens, they stopped dead because they held the water. And I think the one at six was a bit more drier, um, and she just went straight through the back. It was a bit annoying. Um, and then I was not I was kind of just off like the fringe area in like dirt. If you, no, you haven't seen six. I don't think I've been there on YouTube where I've been over the back there. A lot, usually most of my chips land short um, there. Um, and I just put it back in the stands and duffed it as these guys are watching. I had a chuckle and then put the second one, third one, whatever, right? Um, tee shot seven was good. Um, obviously, the, uh, the approach in, that was probably my biggest down, um, biggest negative of the day. Biggest negative of the day was the approach game. I feel like I hit a lot of good approaches, just hit them all along. Um, and something we maybe need to work on at the driving range is the, the distance control, especially with the pitching wedge. I love my pitching wedge now. I never used to use it. I'm now used at the driving range to get used to it. Absolutely love it. I think it's one of my favourite clubs in the bag. It gets so much height and good connection with it, which is good. And you can see that obviously in the last hole we played. Um, eight obviously hit a decent chip. Thank God I made that putt. Um, and then nine probably hit the shot of the day with the tee shot at nine, which was pretty good as well. Um, but yeah, look, plus nine through nine, bit lucky to probably be at plus nine there, of course, as well. Um, you know, a double bogey in a par helps you out, gives you plus nine. So we're on course there for obviously um, 
for 65 and then obviously the double bogey at 10 that that is also another negative of the day um so we'll give you your positives at the end of this as well but the negative of the day obviously has been obviously the approach game was not great um and i think mentally on 10 it got to me um obviously hit not a great um one out spinach kind of shows you really need to find the fairway on 10 or it's a bite in the bum and then for whatever reason I, I haven't bumped and run well in a long while used to be my go-to shot can't play him anymore um and you, you saw then that even with the second bump and run that i hit out of frustration it just kind of sits and then i hit one decent you know pitching wedge and she goes exactly where we needed to and if i just did that from the initial onset it would have made five um 11 we screw the pooch bad tee shot bad approach and look we actually went into 12 with a bad mentality mercifully hit a good t- shot at 12 like um off the deck nine eyes my favorite club in the bag in terms of hitting and approaching with unfortunately a lot of the times i'm in short holes i have to use sandwich or pitching wedge because nine iron i'll just sputz it over the back um but you know about a hundred and something meters out nine iron great club uh hit a good one and that part on 12 was an unreal part 13 um tee shot on 13 is the best tee shot i've hit I get more enjoyment out here in my free iron though, because it's just it's gone so long. Like that's a hundred and ninety meter par three on nine. I've absolutely put it pin higher, but thirteen. That that's what saves the round, right? Um, just hit an absolute monster, um, and uh, you know obviously an easy birdie putt there, and just catch fire. Like look at this, plus twelve going into twelve, eleven, ten, ten, ten. Uh, it's like what you want, right? Um, in the end, you know one part both of them. You make birdie. That's an easy game of golf. 14, hit the six. Um, we'll say, I thought I said, I said I hit it short and left. I just hit it left, you know, a whole high. Um, it's amazing how much the six iron can run. Um, so, like I said, some of the holes that it was running and some of the holes it just died dead. Like on 15, you saw my pitch mark with the sand, with the pitching wedge. Pull pitching wedge off the ground. I feel like hitting nine iron sand wedge, pitching wedge off the ground when hitting a tee shot is probably better than off the tee. Don't know why it feels like that to me. Comment below if you do. Um, and like if that's on in the dryer, that may have actually probably rolled all the way down the other end of the green. I don't know, but I feel like a bit unlucky. That's hit like the top of the slope and come back down to the fringe. Hit an unreal putt, to be fair. Um, you know, we left that within two foot. Read it well. Um, I said I read it for both ways. In the end, it really only just moved left, but probably not as far left as I made it. So in the end, I've read it to go pretty straight, and she's gone slightly left but straight. It was going in. Um, we just had to give it a touch more speed, but you know. To have a putt for 59 is not bad, and, you know, nine over. One day it will happen. But I just hope it's on a YouTube vid. I only film when I'm by myself. I feel like it slows down the round when you're with mates. Um, but uh, obviously, Paul see me strike this well, and so is my mate Lou, who we go with. Um, and then, yeah, like, a lot of positives out of the day was we found the putter, and the putter never went away. Lipped out a lot of times. You know, on a different day, a few of these things would have fell. Two would have fell. Um, six, no. Um... Seven, yeah, we had a par putt on seven that kind of just come out as well. Um, and you know, just uh, you know, 15 even, you know, a different day that gets an extra lick of roll that's in the dry and she rolls that touch more. That's in, so you know, I can probably say I probably should have made three or four more strokes here, which is a very good round indeed. So that's the positive. Um, I think the other positive, as much as we went into a bad mentality with 12, the mentality after the tee shot at 12 was good. You know, I kind of flicked the switch, said, All right, we can make birdie here. Come on, on 13. It was all positive encouragement. Next minute, hit my best ever tee shot on 13. One of my best ever tee shots in general. Um, you know, and then 14 was like, Come on, just hit a good six iron. You know, you can make par here and take it to 15. 15, right mentality. It was like, We know we strike our, our pitching wedge in with the wind probably better than what our nine iron will do. You know, we decided to take it on. Cop out of there is a hit nine iron, half hit it, and hope the wind takes it down there and, you know, over the back sometimes, like I did last time with my mate Paul. Um, so then, you know, we pull pitching wedge, we take the ball by the cojones, and I gave myself a putt for 59, that's all I can ask. Um, so look, good run. If you enjoyed the golf vlogs, links down below. Thank you to everybody that will comment and hopefully help me improve my game. Um, you know, Vining, I will send you a message saying that, can you watch this, please? Give me some um, give me some knowledge, some words of wisdom in the in the comment section below, Viney, with your PGA, uh, your PGA uh, coaching license, mate. Um, but yeah, look, at the end of the day, can't complain about that. Very good round. We catch fire on the back nine to go one over on the back five. One over on the back five with a double bogey. Imagine if we just kept this round clean. I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.